In today's video, we're gonna be going over the crossfire blitzing principle or the crossfire blitzing concept. This is one of the top five blitzing concepts in Madden history. This actual concept was really made popular in Madden 18 and also was done a really, was actually really good in Madden 19 and even was pretty good uh, for the most part of Madden 22. And what Crossfire Blitzing is, is it's a five man blitz variation where we're essentially trying to create some confusion with the uh, offensive lineman in the, uh, basically between the center and the guard. And we're trying to kind of force the running back to have to step up, which should then also give us some potential to potentially get edge pressure. Now, this concept, like I said, is in the 335-odd uh, formations, also in 245-odd. It's in other formations as well. You can actually create this out of 236-well and 146. Um, as you can see here, just different types of uh, crossfire well, maybe I don't have it in here. I think I do here somewhere. There it is, cross three fire. Uh, it's kind of the basic idea. This was also really good. I think in Madden 16, it was called double loop out of 146. But anyway, the bottom line is, this has been one of the uh, premier blitzing concepts in Madden over the last 15 years. And we're doing a video series here on the channel right now where we're talking about the best concepts for blitzing. These are principles and concepts that you can cross apply to multiple different formations. Um, as you're playing the Madden 24 beta and you're trying to play, figure out what is the best way to play defense in Madden 24, you have to start foundationally with what is the best way to blitz in Madden 24. Yesterday we talked about um, a blitzing concept known as edge pressure out of 4-3 even, 6-1 and nickel over, where essentially we're just trying to overload blitzes. We even showed a 2-4-5 double A gap. That was a pretty good meta in Madden 21, was a decent meta in Madden 22 and Madden 23. And then today we're talking about crossfire uh, blitzing. Now, if you want to learn my entire blitzing strategy, Madden to Madden, join the Patreon. We have a full ebook that will teach you how to blitz out of every single formation defensively. It's not just like a dollar ebook. We do have that stuff as well, and you'll get that by being a member. But you also get, and, and every year, um, we do a blitzing ebook that teaches you how to blitz out of every formation in the game. And we also update that ebook patch to patch as different blitzes are tweaked or changed changed or passed entirely. All right, so why is this blitz uh, why is this blitzing concept uh, so powerful? This blitzing concept is so powerful because if you can put safeties at the at the crossfire uh, position, their agility can make this really 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 good. So the setup for this is simple. We're going to spread our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line to uh, basically to the same side that that crossfire blitzer is going toward. So in this example here, we're going to crash them to uh, the left. And then we're going to keep it contained and we're going to stand about right in here. And what you'll see is you have potential to get edge pressure and you also have potential to get, um, you have potential to get edge pressure and you also have, uh, as you can see, potential to get loop pressure where that looper is going to come right through the A gap, as you can see. Now, the benefit of this style of blitzing is you know, for a couple of different reasons, which we'll try to show you here in this instant replay. Uh, but what's going to happen is now I'm going to try to block the running back and notice how this blitz still screams even against a blocked running back. Obviously, Micah Parsons is incredible. If you can have a really good high agility player, high speed player in that position, um, it's going to make this even better. But as you can see, what happens is if you take a look here at the center, he is going to have to basically be occupied as we're getting ridiculously, I don't know what's going on with the instant replay, but if you look at the center, he's getting occupied by the nose guard, right? The guard is also in conflict by the looper and the running back, if you look at this, he's gonna step up to guard the blitzer from depth because generally speaking, they're not too worried about this blitzer, um, just the way the game plays. But as you can see, it then opens up with my, with my user being over the guard it creates that conflict for the tackle. So we have the edge pressure, but then we also have the cross pressure and the cross pressure is coming into the A gap where the opponent is going to step up into the pocket. So for example, let's say we're in the same exact blitz, but we're gonna block our tight end and we're gonna block our tight end. You'll see it'll take away that pressure. We're gonna step up, 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 right into a sack because that looper um, or that cross that crossfire player is coming into the a gap where the uh, where the quarterback is typically going to be stepping up into the pocket you can also do this really really good from um, the one four six or dollar any of those formations 
So what you'll see with this one is it's the same basic principle. We're just gonna basically blitz one of the corners. So in this example here, we're gonna blitz this guy, and then we're gonna do exactly the same. It's just a little bit different spacing wise, but you see pretty much still the same basic result um, is you're getting that edge pressure. Now, another way that you can also do it is you can blitz off of the same side that you're crossing. So in this example here, we're gonna blitz off the left, and as you can see, you've got the B-gap pressure and you've got the loop pressure, and of course you've got Micah Parsons going absolutely berserk. Um, now, the beauty of this, I think, is in the multiplicity of not only blitzing concepts that you have at your disposal, but also the fact that it's gonna collapse the pocket. Now again, it's not the best defense every single year. I'm not here to say that. What I am here to say is it's been the best defense um, two out of the last five Maddens, maybe even three out of the last five Maddens, and it's worth at least a shot in Madden 24. So this is what the crossfire blitzing concept is and how to execute it at a really, really high level. If you guys want to get my entire blitzing ebook, join the Patreon today for just $10. It'll get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, everything we've done for Madden 23, as well as all of the stuff we're going to be doing for Madden 24. You can become a member today. The link is in the description down below. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you guys tomorrow.